three words to describe my chopped cheese is amazing, unique, and just New York. That's just what it is. What's going on, boys? You've been, you've been waiting, right? Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Can I get the uh, El Dominicano and the double fries? Yeah, I got you. My name is Jeremy Batista. I'm the owner of Bodega Truck. Bodega Truck is the first and only chopped cheese truck in New York City that specializes in chopped cheese alone. That's it. That's all we do. We do one thing and we do it right. I have chopped cheese for every occasion, whatever you want. You know, you're hungry in the morning, I got the good morning. It's a bacon, egg, and chopped cheese with a seasoned hash brown in it. If you want some lunch, I got a regular OG for you. We do chopped cheese fries. You can get any of the chopped cheese on top of fries, which has been a very big hit. You know, chopped cheese is good whenever. OG fries and a Coke. Thank you, man. Enjoy. NYU kids, man, they love the OG. I think it's just quick, easy. They gotta get right back to class. That's like the fastest sandwich we can bust out. Start with your, your patty. Let that cook a little bit on both sides. Now that the patty is almost done, this is when the magic happens. You know, we know we're doing chopped cheese. So you start chopping it up. And we're gonna hit it with some of our special seasoning. Seasoning in the sauce, that's what that's what separates us from the rest, you know? Can't give you that secret. Now here's where the fun happens. This is where you got you got the shredded American right here. Mixed with a little cheddar. A lot of people don't know that. And this stuff, you know, cooks pretty fast. Like you get, you could get an OG out within, you know, three, four minutes, depending. Right here, we grab the bread. There's that cheesy goodness right there. But it's not, it's not your regular hamburger. The cheese is all in the crevices. This is you could get all the cheese in every bite. You know, here's our, our secret sauce. You know, this is, sooner or later, we're gonna end up bottling it up and selling it just because it's that good. Nice fresh cut lettuce right there. Nice slice of tomato, put that in, and that's it. Fold it together, flip it over, wrap it up tight like a newborn baby. Gets cut in half, and that's all there is to it. This is your OG right here. Some people put grilled onions, peppers, stuff like that, but nah, you don't need none of that stuff. But if you just do it right with these couple simple ingredients, you, you're gonna love it chopped cheese, and it's one of those hidden gems of New York. You know, if you know about it, you know about it. If you don't, then you have to know about it. You gotta figure it out. It was originated in Harlem, and then it just spread out to the Bronx. So when you get out to like further Brooklyn and Queens, they're just starting to know about a chopped cheese. Like recently it's becoming, you know, the wave, and I'm trying to push that forward. A lot of people compare it to a Philly cheesesteak. Everybody knows what a Philly cheesesteak. No matter where you go, you tell people a Philly cheesesteak and they know exactly what it is. I'm trying to bring that chopped cheese to that level, that pedestal that it deserves to be on. Hey, go boss. Enjoy. Uh, we are in the Bronx right now, taking care of a lot of things. I usually get up every day around like 5.45, 6 a.m. and, you know, just try to start the day. I was born and raised in New York City, uh, born in Brooklyn, grew up in the Bronx. When I was younger, my mother, she owned a bodega. And so I grew up in a bodega, you know, after school, we spent time in there doing my homework, uh, helping out, of course. They are the cornerstone of communities. They're open 24 seven and they have everything you would need from, you know, toilet paper to something to eat. I come from a long line of vendors. I'm essentially third generation. My grandfather owned a food truck. You know, my mom had a bodega. She also had a, you know, a food truck for a little while. I started out with a little hot dog cart. Not many women were out in the streets running, selling hot dogs and selling soda and so on. And it was basically hard work for a woman, but I had to earn the respect of others and I did. And then as time goes by, look what it turned out to be. I've had this dream for a long time. So I always knew I wanted to do it, just didn't know how to execute it. Uh, and, you know, the food truck just made sense. He came up with this himself. He was like, mom, what do you think, mama? I'm gonna see if I could do this. Um, and I was saying, kid, you're the only one that's gonna keep the memory going. This takes a whole family to keep it going, like the bodegas. Your aunt was there, your uncle was there. We changed shifts all the time. There wasn't anything that the bond of family would not help with and keep it going. I passed it on to my son. Like everybody passed their bodegas down to their children. So did I. Ah, you see, this is what, this is what my son always tells me. Yes, my boss. Yes, boss, yes, boss. But you know what I always tell him? Don't forget I'm your mama. While she holds the knife. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Puerto Rican in me. 
New York is like slowly getting modernized and gentrified. So I wanted to continue pushing the culture forward, but never forgetting where I came from. So I wanted to, you know, emulate that in my truck on wheels. I wanted to bring people back. So when they come to the truck, they're like, wow, man, I haven't, some of the candies that I have on display or for sale that I give to people, they like, wow, I haven't seen this since I was a little kid. I want people to remember like their childhood and like the older New York. So today we're in NYU. We're uh, getting everything ready. We're gonna be opening at the window soon at 11. They come between their classes and they, they line up for this. You know, they, they, they message us every week, like when you coming back, when you coming back. That's the lucky part about having a food truck. You can visit different neighborhoods, visit different uh, boroughs and, you know, get to reach more people than you would with just a regular restaurant. Traveling down to NYU where it's a bunch of students who, you know, either came here from other states and they're just in, in town to study and, and want to experience New York and I can actually bring that to their front door. And that just brings the word of chopped cheese out to other places. I love seeing people's first reactions when they take a bite of my chopped cheese. It's like, it's amazing to see like, oh man, I just live for that stuff. Like they, the way they just react and like, oh my God, this is so good. I've never had anything like this. I'm, I'm from LA, so we don't have chopped cheese. So. Yeah, no, I mean, I was born in New York originally, but I live in Maine now, so there's not really any chopped cheese there. So I moved to New York, found out what a chopped cheese was. And then I found the bodega truck and was like, all right, gotta try that. It's the, best, it's the best chopped cheese. I mean, you wouldn't think it like on a truck, but it really works. I don't know. Before I started the food, food truck, I would do freelance and menu work and photography work and social media management for a ton of restaurants around New York City. A lot of these restaurants, they struggle with social media, they struggle with photography, they struggle with menu work. And I feel like I have that edge where I can promote my own self and, and be great at it. I'm always like a hawk on the Instagram for when they're at NYU. It's so disappointing when they're not here, but uh, yeah, whenever they are, I always hit this guy up and like, we gotta go get a shot cheese. It's my third time, fourth maybe. She follows them around on Instagram. Yeah, and they're not here all the time, so when they are, oh, it's it's I've had my own social media profile for a long time, and you know, I have around like 60,000 followers on there, but I started a food truck, you know, from zero, and now I pass my own personal page, you know, I'm at like 70 something, uh, which is incredible. A lot of people tagging each other, like, hey, you need to find this truck, or you need to follow this truck. They post the most amazing food in New York, and that just makes me know I'm doing something right, you know, when I see those comments and likes. Perfect chopped cheese bacon is, you know, it gotta be crispy. That's just what it is. It just can't be in no other way. Even though I'm a fan of, uh, you know, the softer texture bacon, I love that. But, you know, for, for a chopped cheese, you gotta have crispy bacon. Everybody comes and says, yo, make sure it's crispy. So you got the Good Morning Hero, three down the blocks, and an OG. I got 842 down the block with onion rings right here. I'm gonna need three OGs and two Good Mornings, okay? At times, I do feel like I bit off more than I can chew just because of the such growth that we had within less than a year you know a lot of people coming into this before i started the food truck um you know i shared my thoughts and explained like hey what do you think about this and a lot of people were very negative towards it like hey no i don't think you should do that no you know thank god that i had my girlfriend there behind me you know giving me that extra push like yo you know i believe in you you could do it come here come here just stand right here <laughs> you gotta hear these things i'm about to talk very nice about you nah you're not a distraction you're fine you're good but you know, I want some brownie points, so just stand right here. And he says I don't help him. How dare him? It's the first time she's helped him. <laughs> I'm more of the heavy lifting. She's more of the brains behind the operation. Like, she does the accounting. She's more of the business aspect, and that's why I'm lucky to have her because and without her, you know, I'm telling you, this truck would have not happened. When we're in action and there's a hundred people at the window and we're like in the thick of it, I take the order, I pass it to the cook. And then it goes to uh, my mom preparing the sandwiches. So she'll be, you know, the one to put the lettuce, tomatoes, the sauces on it, making sure it's good. And Angela is the one who's making sure like it goes to the right sandwich. We're putting them together. We're wrapping them out. We're getting these orders done. This ticket is done. Let's go. We run like a weld oil machine. There you go, boss. Enjoy, guys. Yeah, have a good one. I want to leave something behind that I could be remembered by, you know? Because a lot of people, they just, you know, live life and then that's it. I'm bringing you an experience that's dying in New York, you know? I'm trying to keep it alive. I'm trying to resuscitate New York. The ultimate dream that I have is to be a, a New York staple. I, I really want to get there. I want to be one of those things where it's like, yo, if you come to New York, you got to have a pizza, you got to visit Times Square, and you got to have a chopped cheese. I want to focus on chopped cheese and keep pushing it and keep pushing it until everybody in America knows what a chopped cheese is.
even outside of America. I would love to have a chopped cheese out in Tokyo or Dubai or anywhere else. I would like to bring it out there. Having a location to support the truck is really, really what I want to do. It'll make things a thousand times easier for the truck to alleviate some of the stress and pressure that we face on the truck. Um, the bodega is definitely coming soon. I can guarantee you that. Yeah, man, the cat, the cat is the manager. They, if, if the bodega does not have a cat, then they have rats. That's why you might grab a bag of chips in the bottom row and there's no air in it. You know why, you know? The cat keeps the place safe. The cat is the manager. They look after the place. They make sure, you know, everybody's in line and they, they keep them in straight.